the uh, issue that people always ask about is passing rods, right? This is actually not so difficult if you really understand, say, like an endovascular, how do you pass a wire through 17 bends into the, into the brain, right? The key is you're using the, the, the angulation of the tip. So, so the hardest thing to do is to pass a straight rod, a completely straight rod right out of the box. That is the hardest thing to do because it's unsteerable. So in reality, what you're going to use is you're going to use the tip of this to drive this rod. People are used to manipulating the rod, like you're going to power it to the left, power it to the right. The reality is when you have a bend like this, you're going to actually turn the rod on its long axis. So you rotate, say you want the rod to go to the, to the left side of the body, you're going to actually actually rotate it along that long axis uh, to get it through, right? And then the hard part is you can't see everything. When you do open surgeries, this is that same patient, uh, with a deformity, you can actually see and manipulate everything. When you're doing this percutaneously, you're not going to be able to do that. Everything exists deep within the fascia or muscle. So here's an example. So we're going to bring the rod in, and then we're going to bring the, the screws to the rod in that fashion to get that kind of correction. So there's nothing really that new about it. It's retraining your brain to be able to work with less information to get the same job done, to, to get the spine lined up, right? People always ask about uh, screw testing. We published years ago uh, about this, and, and for some reason, it's just very hard to use electrostimulation 